in this video we are going to be talking about measurement of the electrode potential now in the previous video or the last two videos they are super important for you to understand this particular concept we talked about what an electrode potential is first and then we spoke about um, the the EMF or the cell potential of the cell so both of these concepts are really important for you to understand the measurement of the electrode potential the electrode potential is the potential that exists between the electrolyte and the electrode um, so when we have a random let's say this is our you know our electrolyte this is the electrode of some metal okay I'm not being specific I'm just saying some random metal and we want to find out the electrolyte the electrode potential of this particular half cell do you think we can do it right now no we cannot what we need is we need another half cell we need to connect it and then we need to connect it through a salt bridge voltmeter Basically, we need a whole setup for us to even calculate the electrode potential of a particular half cell. So, for us to do that, what we do is we take something called a reference electrode. What is it called? Reference electrode. So, this particular reference uh, reference electrodes are basically used where you will have, basically they will have the potential assigned to them okay one of the you know one of the more important examples or one of the examples is the standard hydrogen electrode it's called the standard hydrogen electrode so basically what we do is we will connect one of the reference electrodes to the electrode that we the half for the half cell we want to find the electrode potential of and then we are able to cal figure out the electrode potential of the unknown half cell. So let's talk more about the standard hydrogen electrode. The standard hydrogen electrode consists of four things. First of all you have the electrode itself which is the which is inside a glass tube see this is a glass tube you have hydrogen being pumped into it this is a platinum rod with plat in the end it has like finely divided platinum which is coated on the foil so you have finely divided platinum over there and um, the electrolyte for this particular electrode is one molar H, uh, H plus basically it consists of uh, acid solution that has a concentration of one molar um, so one important thing is that the foil, this foil is where you have the reaction taking place. And platinum is used is because it's inert. It just helps with the process, but it itself does not undergo any particular reaction. So standard hydrogen electrode can act as either a, a cathode or an anode. So when it acts as a cathode, the reaction is going to be H2 gives rise to 2H plus plus two electrons so I am so sorry that was the anode so when it acts as the anode the reason I figured that out was because it underwent oxidation so when it acts as an anode it undergoes the process of oxidation so hydrogen is losing two electrons to form H plus and then when it's the cathode it'll be the opposite so two H plus plus two electrons will give it H2 H2 so essentially, the concentration of both the reduced and the oxidized hydrogen will stay constant. Okay, so the concentration of hydrogen ion is always going to be 1 molar and the hydrogen gas is always going to be having a pressure of 1 bar. So the concentration essentially is staying constant and this is why you will have the electrode potential of this standard hydrogen electrode is going to be zero so electrode potential of SHE the standard hydrogen electrode is zero volts so what we do is we connect this standard hydrogen electrode with the one which we don't know or like whose electrode potential we do not know and then we're easily able to figure out what the electrode potential of the unknown half cell is okay so basically the 
um, and that potential which is calculated with respect to the potential of the standard hydrogen electrode is called as the standard electrode potential. So measurement of the electrode potential cannot be done with just a half cell. We need a complete electrochemical cell for us to even be able to calculate the electrode potential of the half cell. So we use something called the standard hydrogen electrode which acts as a reference electrode to do this. The standard hydrogen electrode consists of four things. You have a glass tube, you have hydrogen constantly being pumping, like being pumped through it. And you have a platinum uh, rod and then you have in the end the foil which again has platinum coated on it finely divided platinum on it so this is where you have both the oxidation and reduction uh, processes like either oxidation or reduction process taking place depending on what we are connecting it to your your the electrolyte over here is the an acid with the concentration of one molar now the anode but the standard hydrogen electrode can act as both the anode and the cathode when it acts as an anode it loses the h plus when it acts as a cathode it gains the two electrons it undergoes the process of reduction so basically what happens is you will have a tendency to have a concentration of one molar being state like being the same as well as you have the uh, pressure of one bar for the hydrogen as the same so because of that you have um, the electrode potential of SHE the standard hydrogen electrode is considered to be zero volts so what we do is we connect it with the other half cell whose potential we want to calculate and then we're able to figure out what its potential is and this is known as the standard electrode potential in the next video we will be talking about how we are measuring the electrode potential of the unknown electrode using the standard hydrogen electrode.